Hello and welcome to another episode of the Gran Turismo 7 License Centre. In this video we're focusing on the International A Licences. Oh, the first licence. We're looking to brake just before the concrete barrier ends on the left hand side. Let the car turn in and then gradually get back on the accelerator. Second braking point is just as we go over the hill before we reach the blue and yellow curbing on the left hand side. And finally we're braking just as we get to the curbing before the left hander. Be mindful of track limits on the exit as if you go off the curbing you will end up failing. master license number two when it comes to this long hairpin of a left hander we're, we're just going to let off as we're going round the car will naturally slow itself down using as much of the track as we possibly can when it comes to the braking point i was using the grass on top of the hill and for the final left hander i tapped on the brake slightly here but the car will naturally slow itself down so you might not even need to touch the brakes For license number three, I was braking at the 100 meter board. We're aiming to get in really close to the wall here and then wide on the exit. And for the final three corners on this license, we're aiming to get really tight on the inside. This will allow us to maintain the most amount of speed. For license number four, I'll be honest, my knowledge around the Nürburgring is absolutely shocking, so I had to turn the braking areas on for this, just to allow me to even be close to the time. Uh, I'm not going to commentate over it because I'm just going to embarrass myself, so you can just simply watch and take pointers if you need to. For license number five, this was by far the one that I struggled with the most. Look at the bottom left, I'm over 132 miles just doing this one license. So what I found working for me was just in front you'll see there's a slight change in the colour of the tarmac, that's where we're aiming to brake. And then we're getting our car straight, braking again, going over the kerb and then braking for a third time. On the right hander we need to ensure that we're really close to the wall. This will set us up for a better exit for the following left hander. And finally we're braking just as the concrete barrier changes colour from black to blue. Make sure to get your car slowed down enough here because it will want to drift around the corner. This will end up costing you a lot of time. Right, license challenge number six. You'll notice that I'm not using 100% throttle here, otherwise you'll lose the car. Not literally lose the car, but you'll lose control of it. When it comes to braking, I'm braking just after the cones end on the right hand side. This is something that you'll just get a feel for. Again, we're not full throttling because we'll lose control of the car. Second braking point is just as we go past this path on the left hand side. Gentle on the brakes. And then you can use all of the exit here. As long as you're on the curbs, you're within track limits. Oh, 
Oh, license challenge number seven. We're braking at the 100 meter board. We're going down into second gear. And then on the exit, we're short shifting up into third. Approaching this right hander, we're dabbing on the brakes slightly. Short shifting up into fourth. Gently on the accelerator as we're going round. And then it's full throttle all the way to the end. Lanson's challenge number eight. We're braking just after the 300 meter board. Down into first gear and then we're gonna stick as tight to the inside as we can. I found that that transition of light to dark really messed up my focus. Short shifting up into second before we go around. Try and get as tight to both the bollards as you can. Coming onto the bridge, you want to get as close to the right and then the left hand side as you can. As we enter the tunnel, we're letting off just before we turn in. Again, really narrow to the inside and then back on the accelerator. For license number nine, for the first straight, we're looking to stick as close to the right hand side as we can and then we're drifting round out wide, down into third. On the exit, we're looking to get as close to the right-hand side wall as we can. Same again for the following left-hander, we're getting as close to it as we can. For the braking point, we're braking on the final solid blue line, as the one following it is quite broken up. The aim of this chicane section is slow in and fast out. You might feel like you're going particularly slow, but this is the fastest way to do it. For license challenge number 10, again, similar to the previous one that we've already done. I'm not going to commentate on this because my knowledge of the Nürburgring is absolutely shocking. I think it's much more beneficial if you're just watching how it's done. A few tips that I will give you are just set some laps. You can then use your ghost and you can compare yourself against that each time and just allow yourself to improve. When you feel like you're fast enough and you're almost there, like for example, you look at mine, my best record is just over a second off, I decided to use the demonstration ghost. As I'm going around, I'm thinking there's no way that I'm going to be fast enough to get gold on this challenge because it's, as of right now, it's about 0.7, 0.8 ahead. But trust me, the demonstration ghost is a sub 55 lap. So if I can get gold from being, being over 1.5 seconds behind, you can get it too. For earning bronze in all these license challenges, you will earn yourself a 5 star roulette ticket. And for earning gold in all the challenges, you will earn yourself a Porsche 962C. Potentially join me next time where we have a go at the Master Super Licenses. Again, I can't promise whether I'll actually be able to do it or not, but we'll give it a go. Thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. On the left hand side is a link to the Gran Turismo 7 license playlist, and on the right will be a link to a random Gran Turismo 7 mission.